Stanley Miller was an American chemist who conducted one of the most exciting experiments in modern science. It sought to answer the question, how did life on Earth begin? It's a complex question, and one that has still not been fully answered and may never be. Miller's famous experiment, though, gave us an idea of how life could have developed out of non-living matter, a process called a biogenesis. Miller's experimental interests at the University of Chicago were in the field of astrobiology, which is the study of life in the universe, including its origins and evolution on Earth as well as potentially elsewhere. The famous experiment Miller conducted in 1953 was based on a hypothesis that stated life could have originated from basic molecules present on the early Earth. The idea was that gases present in the atmosphere and in the seas of the primitive, pre-life Earth could have been stimulated by lightning to react and produce the chemicals necessary for living cells to arise. Stanley Miller, under the guidance of Professor Harold Urey, set up the Miller-Urey experiment to test his hypothesis. He included basic chemicals that were present on Earth before life began. Water, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen. These molecules contain the most abundant elements in living cells, which are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Miller connected two sterile glass flasks by a series of glass tubes. One flask contained water and the dissolved molecules. This flask was heated and the water vapor and gases released into the tubing. They could freely move into the second flask, which was sparked by electrodes to stimulate lightning strikes. The gases were then condensed into a liquid that was carried back to the original flask. The cycle went on continuously for two weeks. Within one day, the solution in the flask had developed a pinkish hue. By the end of the experiment, Miller and Urey identified many new compounds that formed in the apparatus. These included several different types of amino acids, the small molecules that make up proteins, as well as simple carbohydrates. Glycine, a simple amino acid, was the first compound to emerge from the experiment. The results of the Miller-Urey experiment were thrilling for scientists, and the implications were important. Miller proved that under the conditions present on the early Earth, as far as were known at the time, the building block molecules of life could form. Furthermore, we now know that early Earth's atmosphere contained a few more simple compounds that Miller didn't include in his original experiment. These additional molecules would lead to greater diversity of amino acids and other chemicals found in living cells. The Miller-Urey experiment continued for decades, conducted by Miller and his research group at the University of California, San Diego. Other researchers carried on similar work as well, inspired by Miller's results. Other experimental setups resulted in the creation of even more of the chemicals needed for life, including nucleic acids, the building blocks of DNA. Later, researchers also went back to Miller's original experimental vials and re-examined them with more modern technology. They identified more molecules than Miller had due to his limited equipment in the 1950s. It turns out Miller's experiment produced more amino acids and other biomolecules than he ever realized. Most of this work has been conducted by Jeffrey Bada of the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, a former student of Miller's. Miller made important contributions to the understanding of life on Earth and in the universe throughout his career. He received several professional honors and is considered to have been a leading pioneer in the study of astrobiology. Although he was nominated for the Nobel Prize a few times, he never won it. Miller's legacy lives on in the experiments that continue to refine his original, famous one that changed our ideas of how life came to be on Earth. Stanley Miller was an American chemist in the field of astrobiology. Miller's famous experiment, the Miller-Urey experiment, gave us an idea of how life could have developed out of non-living matter, a process called a biogenesis. 
By the end of the experiment, Miller and Urey identified many new compounds that formed in the apparatus. These included several different types of amino acids, the small molecules that make up proteins, as well as simple carbohydrates. His work inspired decades of further research that continued to tease out how life could have originated on the early Earth. <laughs>